Hey YouTube, how's it going? This is The Help You Need with another 3DS Max video tutorial. And in this video, we're going to go ahead and learn a little bit about MaxScript and a little bit of the basics. Uh, basically, what MaxScript is, is it's a uh, another form of a coding language that uh, the programmers built into 3DS Max. Uh, and if you use GMAX, it also works. Uh, basically, the reason that uh, probably in here, at least that I would assume, is because it allows you to create your own shortcuts to uh, certain things. Uh, so let's say you want to make a sphere and you want to just like move it around or you want to have a quick render um, just screen just sitting right up here. You can do all that with Max script. Uh, so it's really a really useful tool and it's also uh, you can create like your own plugins and stuff for 3ds Max using Maxstrip. Uh, if you want a little bit more help, uh, let's say you don't want to continue watching this, you'd rather read. Uh, you come into help and then click Maxstrip, and then you can go through all of these little booklets here, and uh, you can learn how to use Maxstrip to utilize it to basically its full potential. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started though. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to type in rollout, and I'm pretty sure that max script is uh, not uh, case sensitive, um, so you don't really have to worry about that. So we're going to create a new rollout, and basically what that does is it just creates a uh, little like uh, space in between the uh, window and wherever you have your information. That's what the rollout is. Uh, so now we'll do rollout and we'll do new and we'll title it uh, new rollout. Um, new is our name here, and the reason you have names is to call upon uh, this rollout, or uh, if you have some sort of variable, uh, you can call call out this rollout for uh, whatever reason you need it. Uh, now what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and type in label lab and we'll go ahead and this is a label okay uh, basically this label this output some text which is basically what, what the label is it's kind of self-explanatory what this is uh, this is the name of the label if we just have it lab and uh, this is a label this is what's going to output this is the actual text that will output. Uh, this again is to call upon this label. Uh, maybe if you need it somewhere else uh, via a variable. And uh, we'll get more into calling things through variables and stuff later. For now, we're just going to uh, leave it at this. And we're going to create dialog new. And basically, what this does is it actually creates the window. And it outputs the rollout new, which is why we have new right here. Uh, really quick, something before I finish this up is right after you have quotes and stuff, uh, proper coding, you need a semicolon if you're doing Java or if you're doing uh, PHP or something like that. Normally, you'll have a semicolon afterwards just to break it. Uh, one good thing about MaxScript is you don't have to do that. So if you forget it, it's not going to mess up your whole line of code. Uh, now you can control E, which will evaluate all. Open tools, evaluate all. And uh, as you can see, we have new rollout, and this is a label. Um, here's our rollout, here's our dialog box, and that's it. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please rate, comment, subscribe if you did like it. If you like any of my other videos, again, please write, comment, and subscribe. Um, yeah, this is the first of many MaxScript tutorials, so if you think this is the only MaxScript tutorial I'm going to do, uh, it's not. I'll probably do about 10 or 15 of these uh, later. Uh, so, watch for those. Also, go ahead and check out my uh, 3ds Max modeling videos and texturing videos. Uh, although most of them are modeling, I don't have too many texturing videos. I think I only have one actually. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you guys uh, in my next videos. Alright, thanks.